what's going on guys Matt here with dry tech reviews and welcome back to another video and in this video I have the Autobox Symmetry Plus and if you've been following my channel you have seen the previous Symmetry unboxing and review video which I did for the iPhone 12 Pro Max but however now I have the Symmetry Plus the difference between the Symmetry Plus and the regular Symmetry is that the Symmetry Plus is MagSafe compatible so for those people who are using MagSafe accessories yeah rejoice because I for one use the MagSafe dual charger and I plan to even get the MagSafe wallet in the future for a review or something like that and yes this case definitely improves the magnet connection as you know the regular symmetry does not have the magnet and it's not MagSafe compatible so yes you do get some sort of grip from the magnets or some sort of uh, attraction from the magnets but it is uh, very very weak because of the thickness of the case and now they have actually solved the problem by introducing the Symmetry Plus but however with the Symmetry Plus there are a couple of downsides which I will talk about later so if you haven't subscribed to this channel already do hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post and without further ado let's get right into the unboxing of the brand new Symmetry Plus for the iPhone 12 Pro Max Alright guys, so we are back. As you can see, I have two colors from the Symmetry Plus series. And it is in this pink color as well as the black. The black, I've used it on the daily, but the pink, I've never actually used it. Alright, so let's quickly get into the unboxing. So you can see I have my MagSafe Duo here wrapped in this uh, sort of camo skin from Mojo Skin. So if you're interested to get your MagSafe Duo skin and you do live in Malaysia, definitely you can get it from them because this is actually the very first uh, unit they did. So it's actually very nice and it keeps the MagSafe Duo charger clean because you know the pad here, the top pieces and the bottom pieces are actually in contact with the phone as well as the surface which you put it on. So it's very easy to get dirty and actually I got my sort of stain but uh, I managed to clean it off so I didn't want that to happen so I got a skin to go with the MagSafe Duo so it's pretty nice. So I got the MagSafe Duo there to actually test out this case. Alright guys so right here you can see the regular Autobox packaging. So you can see Autobox logo, you can see the Symmetry branding right here. So in the middle here, you can see a glimpse of the case, you can see the texture as well. I'll be talking more about that later on. So you can see drop tested military standard. You can see for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, compatible with MagSafe, 5G compatible as well. And you know, the regular stuff, as you can see on the top is from KWS Distribution, which is the official distributor in Malaysia. So if you're interested to get this case, you can actually DM me on Instagram at drytech underscore official. I can hook you up with uh, one of these cases. So at the time I'm filming this video, I do not know the retail price yet, but I'll leave it in the description when I get information on the selling price. All right, so taking a closer, you can see Drop Plus Military Standard 810G, and you can see ultra thin design, race, edges, protect, camera and screen, yes, pocket friendly design. Easy on and off is something that is debatable because trust me, when I tried to remove the phone out of the case, it almost broke my nail. So I think easy on and off is uh, something which I cannot guarantee because uh, I had a hard time removing but installation was pretty okay I should say not very easy but it's not too hard as well so that's it for the packaging let's get right into the case itself all right so sliding it out from the top basically inside there there's some uh, warranty information and stuff like that so all right let's put the box to the side all right so guys you can see the back of the case right here you can see the box branding giant cutout for your triple lens setup and you can see the texture here is not as aggressive as the regular auto box case i should say the back on this uh, symmetry plus is actually i should say smoother overall and i think it's more slippery as well so that is a disadvantage of the symmetry plus series besides of course the max safe i wish they kept the texture of the symmetry and uh just added slapped on the max safe magnet on the inside but they did change the texture as well so i'm not a really big fan of the texture because i almost dropped my phone a couple of times holding the case itself so i think the back is not really good in terms of grip so that's something to take note of all right let's take a look at the sides sides are a regular auto box design all right so you can see right here auto box branding power button the buttons i will show you later on i'm not too happy with the buttons but it is what it is Alright guys, so taking a look at the left side, you can see the volume up and down buttons as well as a cutout for your mute and ring toggle. Everything else is the same. The bottom is the same. The cutouts are spot on. I do like the cutouts. Top, there's nothing there. Okay, inside is where all the, the magic happens for the MagSafe. So this is actually 
a piece which they stuck onto the back so they actually trimmed the back portion a little bit by a slight bit because the MagSafe magnets do not work that well if the back portion is thick so they actually trimmed down the case you can see there's actually sort of a indentation for the MagSafe portion right here so in my opinion I think that this MagSafe piece which is stuck right here yeah I know it's a licensed part of the case a licensed portion of the case but I feel it's also an afterthought as you can see the design right here they should have done something about the design maybe keep it concealed maybe keep it like built into the back portion instead of just uh, slapping it on on the back i mean anyone can do that right so i mean i'm not dissing them or anything but uh it's definitely good that they have a maxif compatible accessory but uh the design looks like an afterthought so i feel it looks cheap that it's stuck right on here and they had to trim down the surface as well so in terms of protection i don't know i'm not really sure in terms of protection yeah the claim is the same as the symmetry but from the looks of it the side yes but the back i'm not too sure all right so let's take a look at the insides of the case let's take a look at the insides everything is identical i think you can see clearer on the pink version which i will show you again later on all right let's try to just install the phone in the case so i have the phone right here all right so you can see installation is the usual which i usually do button side first and then push it all the way in make sure all the sides are in push it all the way in and then just slap in the sides slowly work your way around it you don't want to go around bending the phone unnecessarily so that's how you actually get it installed so uh installation is pretty okay as you saw just now but removing the case which you will see later i'll try to do it on camera you can see the buttons right here okay in my opinion the buttons are below average i expected more from the symmetry series because i've actually used many of the symmetry series since the day the symmetry series launched in fact and this is like the worst iteration of the buttons from the symmetry series and also if you notice there's small sort of like a imperfection right here so you can see this is where the case actually flexes the most because the case is rigid overall and this is the only portion which does not have the supporting plastic piece on the button side both the sides as well so you can see this actually has some play and i tried to actually press it all the way in in terms of the tpu portion and you see it still sticks out i don't really like the finishing i hope they do improve the fit and finish of this case but uh, as of now i think i do not like the sides so that's a major complaint for me i feel if i'm gonna pay i guess this is gonna cost like what above 179 ringgit they should actually perfect the case so this is uh, too loose for my liking this is very similar to the react series which was uh, said to be pretty loose in my testing it was okay not too loose but it was loose definitely and this is like almost there so i do not really like the fit and finish the buttons because of this very mushy very very mushy i do not like how the buttons feel they do not feel that tactile so that's also another complaint for me and definitely the back is very smooth but other than that if you're looking for a massive compatible case you can't get anything better than this in my opinion i mean autobox has known for being one of the toughest cases in the industry so definitely when you're using this you're going to get peace of mind and also massive compatibility all right so that's about it for the black version let's just take a look at the pink version but before that let's just try MagSafe so I have my MagSafe duo right here all right so let me test out the MagSafe function let's see how good the magnets are let me just drop it on as you can see picking up the MagSafe duo you can see the charging icon right there so overall very simple and easy I would say this is a uh, like 98% or 95% as good as the official leather case from apple of course this i feel has slightly better strength in the magnets when you put it into contact i feel like it attracts the magnet stronger but however from a third party manufacturer i can't really complain because it's actually really really good all right so now let me show you the uninstall process so i like to start from the bottom first you can see i'm having trouble so it's really hard i'm trying my best not to bend the phone or something like that let me try to just peel it off so the uninstall process is really a pain i should say i've actually done it like once so i can show you okay you can see right here 
super difficult to take off. I do not like the the removal process, even though they say it's easy, but it's not. But anyway, let's look at the pink version. Okay, let me show you the sides. See right here, the buttons. Around right the side here, you can see some air pockets. Yeah, regular symmetric case design on the inside. So right here, I have the leather case. You can see the position, spot on. No problems right there. So you can see it's definitely going to work perfectly because the position is on point. So installation process, similar. Right, so right here you can see the Pacific Blue version with the MagSafe compatible Symmetry Plus series in pink. So both surfaces are very, very slippery. You can see right here, there's not much of a texture for both surfaces. So if you're worried about that, definitely get the regular Symmetry. If you're, especially if you're not using, uh, you're using a regular wireless charger or you're using like a wired charger, don't have to bother getting the Symmetry Plus. Just get the regular Symmetry and you'll be good to go. All right, so you can see the cutouts. All right, you can see the cutouts on the bottom. Buttons are the same. These are slightly better in terms of fit and finish, but still, below average in my opinion because I like my cases to be fitting so that about wraps up this video so if you're interested I will leave the link in the description below or you can hit me up on droidtech underscore official and get yours with free shipping as well if you're in Malaysia all right so this concludes the video hope you guys like it do hit the thumbs up button if you did like this video and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and I'll catch you guys in the next video